what's up Pokemon Masters and welcome to a new SGG video and the first Pokemon Go video on this channel. Today's video is going to be about GoFest 2020, all the shinies that I got and my thoughts and feelings about GoFest 2020, seeing as there are a lot of mixed reviews about it. So let's get into the shinies first and if you are only here for my thoughts and opinions about GoFest, please go to this timestamp. And now let's get into the shinies. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be showing you all the shinies that I got during GoFest 2020 right now. And as you can see on the screen right here, um, I got Skarmory as my first shiny. Now I got Skarmory after about one hour of play because Grass Hour really screwed me over. It wasn't my favorite hour because I didn't get any shinies on the two Grass Hours on day one. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but Skarmory is cool shiny, um, yeah, really nothing else to say about it, but yeah, cool shiny. So the next shiny that I got is Surviper, and Surviper, I'm so happy about Surviper because it's a regional that's not in my area because I live in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, Surviper is something that I can't get any other time, like, really the chances would be so, so small. So I'm really happy about Surviper. Now, um, Teferi, another cool shiny, um, yeah, nothing to say about it, it's a cool shiny, I'm happy with it. Then, Houndour, during the fire hour, I really need this one, I'm happy with it, it's really, it looks like a bleached out shiny or something, I'm not really that fond of it, but yeah, it, it's cool, it's a shiny, so yeah. Um, Squirtle is next, now I'm really happy with this one, because it's a GoFest exclusive, I think, they may be coming back next go fast, but yeah, this is really cool, um, and I'm really happy with this one. Okay, Quillfish is next. Um, Quillfish was, of course, a new shiny that came out with this go fast, and I'm really happy with Quillfish. Um, I got some more Quillfish, spoiler alert, but yeah, I'm happy with Quillfish, and I'm happy I got it. Um, Gibble. Now Gibble, a lot of people were hunting for Gibble and I got a Gibble, I'm so happy with it. Um, and yeah, it's not that great of a shiny in my opinion, but it's it's cool, it's cool and I'm happy with it. Um, Durant, another regional, I think I can get it in the Netherlands, but also just a cool shiny and I'm happy with it. Um, Sableye, hunted for Sableye. Um, last year's GoFest because I went to GoFest Dortmund and I didn't get Sableye and now I got it so really happy sort of a golden shiny more yellow but yeah cool shiny um Krogunk I think I'm gonna evolve this one don't have enough candy yet so I'm gonna be hunting for some Krogunk but I think the evolution looks much better but I'm happy with it didn't have it yet so yeah cool shiny also um, Rosalia, hunted for this for a long time, never got it, got it during this go fest, so cool. Ponyra, also didn't have that yet, cool shiny. Um, blue flames, always nice, blue is one of my favorite colors, so yeah. Um, Growlithe, also cool shiny, uh, not that different from the normal version, but yeah, maybe I'll be evolving it, but yeah, cool shiny. Now, Heedmore is also such a cool shiny and I can get it in the Netherlands so I'm so happy with it look at it yeah you can also see it right here but yeah it's so cool um, Chin Chow I got this at home because I play with a friend um, Samurai Thomas is his channel name I'll plug him on the info card right in the top right hand corner of the screen but I got this at home because we went um, back to my house like half an hour before the event um, stopped <laughs> so I got Chin Chow at home in one of the last minutes so yeah that's cool um, Chin Chow is a cool shiny so let's go um, now this is GoFest Day 2 and it was my first shiny of GoFest Day 2 and it is a shiny Alolan Grimer such a cool shiny and I'm really happy with it and then I got a shiny Tangela, my first shiny Tangela, also a new shiny on this Pokemon Go Fest. And I evolved it to Tangrowth, as you can see, cool shiny, and yeah, really happy with it. Then I got Boobat. Now, 
Moobat is also a new shiny for Pokemon Go Fest 2020. So I'm also really happy with that. Don't know if I should evolve it yet. I have walked one kilometer with Moobat, so I can evolve it. Don't know if I should do it yet. If you guys think I should evolve it, leave a comment down below saying that I should evolve it. Um, then I got another shiny Gibble, which I'm really happy with. And I evolved it to Goodbye. Now it's in the gym um, right now. But yeah, it's such a cool shiny. I think it's much cooler than Gibble. Now Garchomp is like a, a really bad shiny. So I think this is the best one out of the family, in my opinion, of course. And it's a really cool shiny. And then I got another shiny Squirtle with a Go Fast hat. So a spare one. If anyone wants to trade, I'll just trade it for another shiny. And then. Quillfish number two, the dreaded quillfish. Um, yeah, second quillfish, not that bad. I'm happy with the second shiny always, but you guys will see. Um, shiny Grimer, alone Grimer number two, and I evolved to a mock. Cool shiny, uh, yeah, nothing to say about it. Then I got shiny Alolan Executor, that's such a cool shiny, a golden palm tree. Here he is, the big boy, and yeah, that's a cool shiny. And then I got Charmander, so I only needed Bulbasaur, um, and yeah, so also a cool shiny. I didn't even have shiny Charmander yet because I didn't participate in Charmander Community Day back in the day. So now I have this special shiny Charmander, and right after that, shiny Bulbasaur um, Go Fest. So yeah, let's go, all three shinies collected. It's a shame you can't evolve them, but yeah, I got all three, so that's really cool. And then, Alola Marowak. Not that great of a shiny, it's of course still a shiny, and I'm also really happy with that. Then I got Quillfish number three. Now it kinda started to annoy me, of course a shiny is a shiny, but I don't want 50 Quillfish or something, so yeah. And then, as you can see, another Quillfish, Quillfish number 4. And um, this really, yeah, uh, this it was kind of a bummer, but yeah. And then, Quillfish number 5. Can you guys believe it? <laughs> what is this? Quillfish number 6. Yeah. So I got three Quillfish back to back. Yeah, not back to back, but wow. Just wow, this is starting to annoy me right now. And another Sableye after that, really cool, two Sableye. Um, another Tangela, so that family is complete, Tangela and Tangrowth. And then the final shiny of Go Fest, Wang Chang. <laughs> I trade this with Samurai Thomas um, for a shiny Alolan Grimer. Because I already had three, I completed the family, so I trade this one. Um, a shame it's not lucky, but yeah, also pretty cool. So yeah, those are all my shinies I got during GoFest 2020. And let me search shiny again. Um, yeah, so I got a total of 33 shinies and I walked for the entire 20 hours almost. So I'd say that's pretty cool. Um, now onto the review and my thoughts. And now for my thoughts and feelings about GoFest 2020. Now, just to give you guys some information on what I did on GoFest, I played with a friend um, in my city, my local city, and I played for almost the entire 20 hours. I think I played for 19 hours in total, and I walked the entire time. I didn't do GoFest Stay at Home Edition, because I saw a lot of people complaining about Oh, I didn't get the shinies I wanted, I didn't get that much shinies. But I think that's because people stayed at home. And they are expecting shinies, like people get on GoFest, where they walk on the, the entire day. And then they're expecting to get as much shinies as people yeah, that are walking. Um, and that's kind of weird, in my opinion. Because, yeah, of course if you're staying at home, you're gonna get less shinies. And of course you're yeah you're getting less good Pokemon because you're at home and people who are walking can check a lot more Pokemon because they get a lot more spawns and their shiny chances are much higher because of that. 
So I think that's kind of weird and kind of hypocritical to do that. But yeah, um, for, my, for my thoughts and feelings about GoFest 2020, I think it was a really good event. I got a lot of shinies, I had a lot of fun. But of course, GoFest Dortmund, which I went to last year, was loads more fun because you just have the habitats, you have a lot more special spawns. And I think GoFest in a local park or a park that's hired by Niantic is so much more fun. I give Pokemon GoFest Dortmund a 10 out of 10. Now for my um, grade for GoFest 2020. Um, I thought the day one, I'm gonna give two grades, one for day one, one for day two. And I thought that day one was a lot of fun. The rotating habitats, it was a cool idea, of course. Um, and I got like 15 shinies and it was just a lot of fun. You had not that much research, only one page. So that was kind of a bummer. I expected Victini on day one, but Victini was day two. And um, I think the grade for day one for me is a seven out of 10. Now for day two of GoFest 2020. I think um, GoFest day two was a lot of fun because of the research that was there. The shiny legendary birds, I mean shadow legendary birds and shadow Mewtwo was so much fun and Victini of course. But there's one thing that was, that's taking the grade down for me. And that is, there were no rotating habitats. So the entire day was pretty much the same and that's kind of boring. And that was really a bummer for me. So I think I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 also because of the research that was so much fun. But yeah, GoFest 2020 gets a seven out of 10 from me, even though I got a lot of shinies and my friend, somewhere like Thomas, got 52 shinies or something so that's insane um so yeah the go fest 2020 was pretty successful for us um and for much more people it was also successful i think but yeah this was my pokemon go fest 2020 video if you liked what you saw please consider subscribing liking the video and leaving a comment and also follow me on social media at sgg on YT uh, on both Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, roll the outro.